Hello, it is I, Greg Bossom, and welcome to Quick Tips. Quick Tips is an email. It's hard to say. Quick Tips is an email newsletter that goes out to thousands of businesses and nonprofits across the country, across the country every month. And the goal of Quick Tips is to give users of QuickBooks little tips to make them happier and make their lives easier and more wonderful in the land of QuickBooks. So this is a free newsletter. And uh, what you're watching now is the embedded video that goes in the newsletter. So either you're watching this because you got the email newsletter already and you clicked on the link or you just happened upon this video on YouTube. And if that's you, you just happened upon it on YouTube. At the end uh, of the video, there'll be a little uh, web address where you can uh, go to and sign up for this newsletter and then you'll get these things monthly. Uh, again, it's free and it's very cool. Uh, but anyway, so this month's tip is January of 2017 and I thought I'd start the year off by showing you actually a feature that is new for people that have purchased or upgraded uh, to the 2017 desktop version of QuickBooks. All right. So uh, if you have an older version of QuickBooks, the feature I'm going to show you, you won't have, but look at it anyway, because it may talk you into upgrading. And if you have 2017, listen up because this is kind of cool. So let me just tell you what the feature is. Uh, and the feature has to do with reporting. So for years in desktop, you've been able to create reports. Of course you can do that. Not a big deal. Um, it's not a very interesting report, is it? There we go. Uh, and you've been able to email them. You've been able to do that for years, but you had to kind of do that manually. Now in 2017, you can actually schedule reports. You can create reports, memorize them, and then schedule them to be emailed out to whoever you want to on any sort of frequency that you would like, daily, monthly, weekly. So why would you want to do this? Well, say you are a nonprofit uh, and you are a treasurer or you're the executive director and you are interested in looking at a P&L compared to budget uh, rather than calling them up and saying, hey, can you get this for me? Uh, calling up whoever does the books. You can have it scheduled to where every single month, boom, you'll get the report emailed to you without anybody having to do anything. It's a nice way to check up on your books, particularly if you're like out and about and other businesses can use this too. So this is really cool. Um, so uh, we're going to go through a few steps to show you how this works. It's available in the online edition as well. It's been available for a while now, but this is the first time it's available in the desktop and the feature is called scheduled reports. Okay. So in order to do this, uh, you don't create, you don't start by going over to the creating a report, you're not going to see any buttons here that say scheduled. So in order to do this, you got to go to reports, scheduled reports, schedule setup. Okay. So I'm just going to walk through the process of how this works and, and you'll see there's a few steps you got to go through, but it's no big deal. All right. First thing I need you to understand is that these scheduled reports, they're going to be emailed out of wherever the, the data file is, wherever the QuickBooks file is held, whatever that computer is, uh, and it'll be emailed according to a schedule. So there are some things you got to make sure are in place. You got to understand in order for this to work. One, QuickBooks has to be running in single user mode. All right. So if you guys use QuickBooks in a network and you have more than one person in at a time and you're always in multi-user mode, this isn't going to work for you. You'll need to switch to single user mode because it has to be in single user mode in order to send out the scheduled report. The other thing is if you run more than one company file, okay, you can't have more than one company file open at a time. All right. So uh, the only company file that can, uh, well, you can only have one company file open at a time. Now the file that has the reports in it, you can actually have that file closed. You don't have to have the file open. QuickBooks doesn't have to be open at all in order for it to work. But if you are going to have a company file open, you can't have more than one company open at a time. And most people don't. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, third thing's pretty obvious. Your computer is on. So you got to have your computer on where the QuickBooks is and it can't be in sleep or hibernation mode. And that's fairly obvious. Anytime your computer needs to send something, it needs to be on. And then it's going to send it through uh, an email provider that you tell them. Usually you put your own email service, uh, email provider, and that's how it sends it. But if your email provider is Outlook, then um, you'll need to have Outlook open as well uh, in order for this to work. So you need to keep your computer on and Outlook open. Okay. If you don't use Outlook, you don't have to worry about that fourth one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. 
All right. So right here, it says schedule setup. So what we have here is we have a couple things I want you to notice. There's a list of reports. So it's like, okay. One thing I want you to notice is you can pick more than one report. So in other words, you don't just send one. You can send a whole batch of reports. Here's three of them right here. All right. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. The other thing that I need you to know is that if you notice all the reports that you pick from are memorized reports. So in order for this to work, you have to create the report that you want to have scheduled to be sent out and then you have to memorize it. Then it'll appear on the list. Okay. And the, the, this list will already have reports in it because when you get QuickBooks, it already has a bunch of ready to go memorized reports. I usually delete them out of the list and add my own. You'll definitely want to create your own. So before we go any further here, I'm going to just get out of here and I'm going to go and just create a report here. Let's see, uh, reports, budgets and forecast. Uh, I'll do a budget versus actual. I'll click next and I'll click finish. So um, now let's see, I'll make a couple of changes to it. Uh, I'll make the columns be toe lonely. I'll collapse it. Uh, and then I'm going to memorize it. Now, before I memorize it, I want you to pay attention to something here. When you memorize a report, and you have to do that in order to do the scheduled report thing. If you've never memorized a report before, you'll want to know this. Uh, what it does is it doesn't memorize the data. Rather, it memorizes all of the formatting, the filters, uh, the columns, the heading, and the date range that's over here. And then... It memorizes that, and then when you pull it up at a later date, it rebuilds the report based on the date range that's here. This says custom, which means you're always going to get a report that goes from July 1 to June 30. Well, if I want a report sent to me every month, I don't want it July 1 through June 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want it this fiscal year to date. And I want that every month. So then whenever you, uh, once you have memorized the report, whenever you get it scheduled to be sent to you, it's going to be this fiscal year to date, whatever date that is. Okay. Cause it rebuilds the report based on this date range. Make sense. So now I'm going to memorize it. You've been able to memorize for years. Click memorize, click. Okay. Uh, Oh, I already have one with that name. So I'll just create another one. Uh, four ED. Okay. And great. So now it's been memorized, which means it is, first of all, in a memorized report list, memorized reports. There it is right there. Profit and loss budget versus actual for ED. There's my old one I just did. But more importantly, now when I go to scheduled reports, schedule setup, get started. Now you'll see that the report is here. There it is. And now it can be added. So see, only memorized reports uh, can be added to the scheduled reports uh, section. And then I'll just pick that one and I'll just pick, I don't know, customers, open invoices. We'll do that one. So you can do more than one report. I showed you that before. Then I'll click next. And now it wants a name for the schedule. So I'll just say reports for... Uh, ED monthly. Okay. And select the frequency. So daily, weekly, I'm going to say monthly. And then I'll say that it's going to start on, we'll start it on the 15th of February. Today's the 18th of January. And I can even select the time. So now if you turn your computer off every night, then remember, this isn't going to work if you select a time in the middle of the night. So you probably want to select a time in the middle of the daytime because the computer has to be on in order for this to work. Okay, we'll say 1 p.m. And see, it's going to—it's telling you. We'll email these reports on the 15th of the month at 1 p.m. Uh, the next date will be 27 days, 21 hours, and 7 minutes. You can even, we'll check this box here, notify me four hours before sending this email. That way, if you're in the middle of work and that a little thing will pop up saying, hey, we're about to send an email in four hours. So um, that might be helpful if you're in multi-user mode. You can switch to single-user mode to make sure that it actually happens. Okay. So um, now understand one thing about this is 
When you set this up, these things are going out. It's not like you can review them before they go out. So if you're a nonprofit, maybe you don't want to have this set up to go to all your board members. You want to have it set up to go maybe just the treasurer, somebody that's not going to freak out if the numbers don't look right. Okay. If you're a regular businessman, hey, just have them sent to yourself every month. Have somebody else doing the work, tell them to set this up for you. Okay. It's really helpful if you're on the road. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. And this is where you tell it which people are going to get it. So I'll just send it to myself. But I do want to show you that I can send it to more than one person. I put a semicolon here. And uh, I can send it to others. All right. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, and what's going to happen is it's going to come as an attachment two attachments here because they're PDFs and there is a password uh, that you can put in you don't have to and but if you put the password in here oh actually uh, looks like the password is required that's interesting let's see if it is required let's see if it is I'll click schedule yep you have to enter a password it's required this is called learning as you go so I'm putting a password here and then Obviously, the person who gets the email will need to have the password. So um, you can put whatever words you want here, and then you click schedule. Oop, apparently I didn't. Ah, <laughs> that's always helpful. All right, I think that works. Beautiful. So see, now what we have here is we have a scheduled report center, and on the 15th of the month at 1 p.m., these reports are going to automatically uh, be sent out of QuickBooks. Okay, so I'm just going to go back up to reports, scheduled reports. And you can see there's where your schedule set up. We were just there, and here's the scheduled report center. That's where you can see all of your schedules uh, for the reports uh, that are going to go out. All right, so uh, let's see. I think that's really it now. Oh, you know what? I have a question here. If I edit this, yeah, then you can see what reports are going to go out. So that's kind of cool. You can pick and choose. All right. So let's see. I think that's really it for the feature. I do kind of want to show you what happens, uh, like in other words, what the person sees when they, uh, so I'm going to go back to my email. I kind of already, there we go. All right. So um, this is what the email will look like. Uh, whoever is supposed to get this will get an email. Hello, please review the attached report. Now, of course, you could change that wording. You saw that, that this wording up here came uh, from where we set it up initially and uh, let me just do this real quick so you can see uh, just create a new one here uh, let's see uh, oh, got to select a frequency hold on all right and the time and the end. there we go all right, these words, this is what I want to get to. These words right here, see you can change them. Those are the words that appear in the email right there, okay? And then here's your attachments down here. Now notice if I click on the attachment, it wants the password. So you got to put the password in in order to get it to work, all right? In order to be able to see the, the documents. So I think that is it. And uh, the only other thing I would say is that once this thing has been sent, let me go back to schedule to the report center. It'll tell you that it's been sent. It'll You'll get something here showing that it's been sent last email and then next email. So you'll know that it's been sent. All right. I think that's it. And I hope that if you have 2017 desktop, you'll look at this feature. It's already available in QBO. Uh, quick, that's for QuickBooks Online Edition. I hate using acronyms. Uh, and if you haven't thought about upgrading and you like this feature, hey, get 2017. And I'm not trying to sell you because I don't work for Intuit. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'll talk to you next month.